you're not just a girl because you come from a place where women usually do the same thing doesn't mean you can fulfill your dreams and become the person you want to be which is like something I could never have imagined in a million years yep. and you will regret it for the I rest of your life to say that. what if I did it the struggle with the language not understanding the language and nobody understanding me to becoming the president of Toastmasters an English speakers club thank you so much this is really really uh, intriguing to say uh, confidence and communication are the key to success so thank you and you are an example of that now uh, next question and i think uh, we we talked about before this interview that no do you recently uh, were part of a book uh, so you want to uh, talk about what the book is all about and how how it will help in a b- bigger cause yes absolutely because of my job as an entrepreneur i managed to talk to people everywhere in the world it's not just within my industry any industry i always wanted to write a book always but always confident why it was like oh i'm not very good at writing and you know my english is i should write in italian but i've been in england for too long and you know writing it always all these doubts and an opportunity came about a lady i know said look i'm putting together a collaboration book with women all across the world where we all share a chapter of the book and we talk about our experience would you like to come on board i was like yeah this is something i was looking for and i was too scared to do it on my own so yes let's start with a collaboration so it was 12 ladies all across the world we wrote it during july between july and launch in november so i never met because we were in lockdown because of covid i never physically met any of these women they are everywhere there are some in the us canada argentina uk Scotland. So, but we, thanks to the power and beauty of Zoom, <laughs> we managed mm-hmm. to talk to each other. Yeah. And we came up with this collaboration book that's called um, Un- Unchain Your Authentic Soul. Yeah. I got a chapter in that book, that's the mm-hmm. one. Uh, I speak about my story, where I meant something I mentioned already tonight. Today, tonight, I don't know what time of the day is going to be today uh, <laughs> where i started going like from cc of the culture moving to the uk adjusting the struggles the struggle with the language not understanding the language and nobody understanding me to becoming the president of toastmasters an english speakers club which is like something i could never have imagined in a million years so this is my story of hope and resilience say you're not just a girl because you come from a place where women usually do the same thing doesn't mean you can fulfill your dreams and become the person you want to be and this book uh, became bestseller so number one bestseller on amazon in the uk us and canada and i wasn't expecting to become a bestseller author either i just i wasn't expecting to write a book this year last year 2020 then become a bestseller an international bestseller So yes this is a proof that everything is possible anything is possible and you just opportunities come in when you open to opportunities i was open to do something great and the opportunity came in to say would you like to write with us <laughs> yeah so that, it was great that, that perfectly goes with one of the speeches if you remember of last season that i say whenever you get an opportunity say yes and that figure it out but yeah at that time yeah. you need to say yes because if you don't say yes the opportunity will go to someone else so, and you will regret it for the rest of your regret. life to say what if i did it so mm-hmm. yep absolutely awesome I'm, with that. i'm loving this interview so now uh, <laughs> we are coming towards the end of the interview and uh, one of the question that i typically ask my uh, all my guest is uh, what are the top 2 3 tips we, that you want to give to the younger folks people who are graduating or people who are joining a job or maybe going on an entrepreneur journey what are those those top 2 3 things that you would like to give them an, as an advice so first of all if you know that you struggle with confidence there are there's so much help out there don't feel like i'm not i'm not, I'm not confident so i'm not going to do it there's help out there i was one of those people and if i knew that there was help out there earlier 
I would be in a different place today, post probably. So if you're just graduating and you feel like I feel overwhelmed, I have no idea where to start, I don't know how to speak up, join a Toastmaster group anywhere in the world online. There are so many clubs out there sure. and it's free to attend as a guest. So that's my recommendation. Just do it. And it does it won't even just open up doors on from a business point of view. It's anything from the relationship, talking to your neighbors, uh, negotiating anything. So that's my key recommendation to any younger person that male, female, any race, confidence. Toastmaster is gonna fix that. I promise that that did it, that work for me. And the second recommendation, especially for women, don't let anybody um, put a label on you just because mm -hmm. you're a girl. And I remember I used to tell myself, I'm just a girl. That's what I, I can't do anymore because I'm just a girl. Don't let anybody put a label on you because you define who you want to be. If I, um, one of my dreams one day is to have an office in New York, I can do it. Who is saying I can't? But before it was like, no, because you know, I'm in Sicily, I can go anywhere outside. There was just a limitation I was putting to myself. There are no limits, all the limits are in here. So it's like, especially if you are a girl, don't let anybody tell you you're just a girl. You're not. So don't let anybody label you. And the third one is probably is a repetition. It's like you can be whoever you want to be. And there is so much support out there. Just talk to an adult. The, 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 everybody's happy to, to guide you. Nobody's there to say, oh, no. Especially the people they've gone through experience, they're always happy to share it with somebody else. So there's so much help out there, and just just ask, and opportunity will come up. They will always come up only if you're open to opportunities, which is what we mentioned earlier. So that's my third tips. Just always open-minded. If it doesn't work, doesn't matter. You learned yep. that that doesn't work. It's like a lesson learned. But if you just decline the opportunity before even starting it, that's a failure. That's what I would say. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, these are Thank my top you. three tips. <laughs> That's amazing, Pleasure. amazing. So communication and confidence and then, yeah, don't let anyone put any label. And then, yeah, just say two opportunities. Awesome. So, uh, Claudia, it was a pleasure and honor to have you in this show. Uh, if somebody wants to connect with you, uh, do you want to put your contact information and other details over here? Yes, absolutely. So I can put my contact details. So you can probably write them on the on the video. I can put that in the uh, otherwise, yeah, my website is www.sophisticatedcloud.com, and you'll find mm -hmm. all my all my story there, and my contact details, and and much more. But yeah, I'm very happy to share the details and add them to the comments on the video. Awesome, awesome. So all the details and your book link and everything would be in the video description. Thank you so much for this interview. I know I, it's really hard when you have, when you're doing homeschooling and you have to oh, yeah. take care of kids, but <laughs> thank you. Thank you so much for agreeing to this. Thank you, Arita. It's been a pleasure. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you. So this was Claudia Tirano for our inspirational interview. Stay tuned for the next episode. And until then, as I say every time, keep learning, keep growing, and keep going out of your comfort zone. This is Aritosh, and I'll be back.